Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Less than two months ago, Shayedu was in the news when she shared a video of herself dancing with joy with the caption, Uluwa Shei Fume, meaning God did this for me. Reacting to this short clip, many of our fans gushed over her glow, which they attributed to her being pregnant. And before then, Shayedu also made the news when she was seen with a prominent cleric fearing for her and she shared this on her official social media platform. And many of her fans also suspect that she's currently pregnant. So she has been making the news headlines for a while now. And of course, her husband, Adeni Johnson, usually shares lovely words about his wife on his social media platform. Shayedu also does the same thing. Just recently, Adeni Johnson shared a lovely photo of his wife and tagged this mind to a lot of heart signs. And just some hours ago, Adeni Jesse shared a lovely photo of himself and his wife, and also wishing his wife in advance as he wishes his fans and followers a happy new month. He calls her my complete package and dosage. And in his words, happy new month, and in advance, my joy giver, my complete package and dosage. I love you, I shall be. June 4th, can they say a word of prayer for her? So this year back to Adeni Johnson is calling for everyone to drop a word of prayer for his woman, his wife, and his baby, Sheyi Edu. Sheyi Edu, who is a popular Yoruba actress, would also be having a birthday in some days time, June 4th. So happy birthday in advance to her, and may God hear the silent prayers. For those who may be asking me, Sheyi Edu, please stay with us for a short but interesting biography of this Yoruba actress, Sheyi Edu. Sheyedu is also known as I Am Shy or Ejanla. She's a fast rising Yoruba actress and movie producer who joined the movie industry in the year 2009 through her younger sister, who happens to be a scriptwriter. Then she joined the House of Wisdom Kakos and graduated with her first movie, which she produced the same year. And she also revealed in an interview that growing up, she always looked forward to being a famous personality, a popular entertainer. It has been a part of her for a very long time. And she got the name Ejanla from the band. She loves something that is unique. She's a big fan of the band. To date, since she joined the movie industry, her most challenging role was in the movie Golon, which she co-produced. In that movie, she had to speak Yoruba all through. And in her words, it was quite challenging because all the lines had to be delivered in Yoruba language without blending it with English. A lot of times, many test men say that they do not have their parents' support. Most of them didn't have that. Well, she revealed that her parents supported her decision to be an adaptress. Her father, though, at the beginning wanted her to be a lawyer. He wanted her to complete her education first. Then she could choose whatever she wanted to do. And as mentioned earlier, she joined the movie industry through her younger sister. Also, rumor has it that Shiedu and Adeni Johnson made things official in the year 2019. That was when they officially got married. She was once asked, in an interview, if she could date any of her colleagues, and she said yes and no. Yes, because you can never tell where you find love. But no, because I can't date any of my colleagues. But well, this was a while ago, in 2014. And as regards good and bad side of being an actress, well, she said that the good side of being an actress is that you're a known face and doors open for you as a result of the film. While the bad side involves having to do with scandals and noisy journalists. As an actress, there's no way you can prevent some bad things being written about you. So it is a sweet and sour experience for her. And apart from being an actress, as mentioned earlier, she's also into movie production. For her, when it comes to challenges they face with movie production, movie production is not easy at all. They face challenges from monetary to logistics. At times, the timeline of production doesn't agree with their own timetable. A film of a couple of weeks may end up running in two months, and this may stretch the budget and make you incur more expenses. But the biggest challenge is money getting money to bankroll your production. She also revealed in an interview that she likes to save time, money and energy. This is the reason why she mass produces her movies. But she says that she likes to produce like three or four movies at the same time. In her words, this is because it saves time, money and energy. Shooting those movies at the same time will help me minimize the number of cast that I will be using. It will be a different storyline, but I can still make use of my cast, making me have access to them. That is because Having them on set at the same time sometimes can be challenging, but what I don't do is release them at the same time. I do it one after the other, with enough space for the other to breathe, 
and have made its impact before another work goes to the marketers. This was all she revealed in their 2019 in an interview. And on what she could never be caught doing in a movie, she revealed this also in an interview that she can never be caught flirting excessively. In her words, it is not my thing. I can never appear naked as well in a movie. Her favorite makeup accessories, she hardly wears makeup. Her makeup is occasional. Her favorite fashion accessories, she likes to wear gold accessories. She likes it simple, except on big occasions. For style, her fashion style is basically simple and comfortable. Once she's comfortable in it, she works it. Public opinion really does not matter to Shiyedo. though. This does not really bother her. She has a fashion line called Shy World Luxury. Before it used to be known as Shy Designs. On how she keeps fit, to her fitness isn't just a mere thing, it is a lifestyle tradition. So she takes fitness seriously. So she keeps fit mentally, psychologically, and physically. So this is a little bit about Chiyedu. For those who may ask, who is Adeni Johnson? Adeni Johnson is the husband of Chiyedu and is also a popular Yoba actor, Mudo, MC, media consultant, and a motivational speaker. He studied mass communication in Polytechnic of Ibada and then studied international relations at the University of Lagos. He came into the limelight after his reign in Africa's most popular television series, Teen Soul. So he's one of the course of actors who used to conveniently appear in both English and Yoruba movies. He took his very first step in the path of acting during church performances more than 20 years ago. His first significant acting experience was obtained during his high school days when he took part in the play with other students. He was invited as a substitute when another person who played the main role stopped at any rehearsals. The teacher said, that someone else had to fill in for that task. That was when he was chosen to fill in as a substitute because a lot of people had already noticed his exceptional charisma. His first play was successful. After that, Adeni became quite popular in school and students wanted to interact with him more. After his graduation, he learned to befriend it. A movie was being filmed near his place of residence. So they went there and he took part in the auditions. The producer became interested in him and invited him for the results. After that, Adeni began to take part in various productions and series. His first work was Mutaka Oshidan, which was created in accordance with the best traditions of Yoruba more than a decade ago. This was filmed by Le Kwaide, the man who brought him into the Yoruba movie industry. Nevertheless, his real success came when he started appearing on Teen Soul. So he started from drama and moved to TV dramas, so purpose, but the main foundation was from church, church dramas. Then he went to Teen Soul professionally before he delved into Yoruba movies. I didn't enjoy they actually acted as props on Teen Soul. And they said they just sat down, watched people talk and nod. Then at some point, they started giving him lines. But soon, he felt he deserved more and he wanted more. The problem was that they didn't see him as one of the major actors, so he didn't see why he should stay on the show Teen Soul. He then made move to do Yoruba movies. As then he did his first Yoruba movie that same year. So this is a little background on the couple Adeni Jensen and Shiyi Edu. Here come to the end of this episode where Adeni Jensen asks for prayers for his wife Shiyi Edu. And he says, kindly say a word of prayer for her. We hope you enjoyed this episode and listen to new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.